Hacker Rank is just one website that publishes these kind of competition style programming problems. Okay. And it seems like the hiring process for developers has changed over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. That, uh, I mean, you go through a phone screen and then they send you to one of these uh, providers of these programming problems and they're tough. Mm -hmm. And you got to solve it in a time period and it gives you a score. Yeah. And, and if you don't score high enough, then you don't uh, get a technical you interview. You don't get the interview. Is it, are, are they reasonable? Like, Well, <laughs> reasonable if you know how to do them and you're really practiced at them. But like, yeah. for example, I have a friend who's a PhD computer science yeah. uh, looking for a job within the last month. And he's had to do, go through like two or three of these. Mm-hmm these gates and he, I won't say he gets spanked but mm -hmm. he's uh, not done as well as he should have yeah myself myself too yeah I'm just not just not practiced it's just not uh, is it it's because not it, how you it's not how you work on a day-to-day -day basis yeah yeah okay that was my question on this one less mm -hmm. than 50% of the people who opened it like they were gonna do it actually completed it Gotcha. Submitted submitted a solution for it. Yeah. That's I don't even think that's a correct solution. I think it's any solution. Really? So some of these have really like <laughs> it's not just you if you can't figure it out. Right. Interesting. So it, that could even be after multiple attempts, right? Yeah. Wow. So there's something there that's not right. <laughs> Who's to say like like is it just that in this particular case, they've misestimated how long it should take to do this? I don't know the answer. I did this one last week, this particular one. Mm -hmm. I swear, three hours. Yeah. Three hours, and it, I was like, I was looking at the hints. You can look at some hints that people put in here under discussions, and I was just basically copying hints by the end. And just to get through it. Just to get through it. Huh. And it's considered one of their medium difficulty ones. Yeah. But clearly, it's tripping up a lot of people. That other one, too, frequency queries. This one I did this morning. That was the one I did in 40 minutes. Gotcha. And it's not, it's not that much different in difficulty. Wow. It's just what, what I've had experience with, been exposed to, the way my mind's thinking today. So the, so the count triplets one took you three hours with hints, and the frequency queries one took you 40 minutes, and they're both the same level of difficulty. Reasonably, yeah. Well, they're both a, medium. Yeah, they're both medium. In fact, this one, they're giving a higher, a higher score to it. Interesting. Yeah, so you like doing them. Um, but you're finding that there's like some of them you can do quick, some of them just take way longer. It's demoralizing. And can you imagine being in a in a interview with that? Oh yeah. And you 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 instead of getting the frequency queries question, you get count triplets, and then you get two people staring over your shoulder. <laughs> they just. Like, let's roll the dice again. Give me another one. Yeah, that would be that would be extremely difficult. Are they are they looking at how nice your code is, or it, it can just be as messy as you you want, as long as it's. Well, this is behind a question I asked uh, last week. This one. Mm. When I said clean code, correct, correct solution. Yes. Because, I mean, that extra 20 minutes is the difference between readable code and pretty much unreadable code. Yeah. And when I look in the discussion relative to a problem, like, this code is just horrible. Yeah. And But I have no doubt it works. Yes. But they're, but the the hacker rank thing is just looking at solution. They're just looking for... Yeah, their, their score is just looking at the solution. But if, you know, the employer sends you... Hack a rank link, you solve it and score 100%. Yeah. And then they look at your code 
and it's completely unreadable, illegible. It can't figure out what you're doing or how you did it. Yeah. I'm just like, do they care that you got 100? <laughs> or would they rather, say you got, like this is what happened with me and Etsy, I got 80% maybe. Yeah. I didn't, get, I didn't pass all the test cases in the time limit. Yeah. And, uh, but they could look at my code and read it. I'm like, I'm, and I'm wondering... Would a hiring person, this is what I was trying to get at with this question, would a hiring person recognize it? That's good code. They didn't get enough time to finish it. Mm -hmm. It's it's better than the 100. Or do they even look at the clean code if you didn't get 100? These are good questions. I think that there might be a need if, if someone was to kind of map out a mental framework for solving these types of problems in a predictable way. Mm. 